So in this video we're going to be looking at snack bars. Now I think snack bars are interestingly named. They're kind of fun little names, but I don't think they particularly describe well what is visually going on the screen, but I think, <clears throat> man, got a frog in my throat. I didn't create them, so you just kind of have to roll with them. Basically, they're like a notification that could pop up along like the perimeter or center of your screen after you do something. So if you're ever on Facebook, I know this is a good example. Someone comments, you'll see something pop up in like the bottom left of your screen if you're on the web browser. And so those essentially are snack bars. So let's go ahead and make some here. And they're pretty easy to do. So it's going to have an ordinary button. We're going to give it an on click. And there's something interesting in the documentation when I was going through this and looking at it that I think is worth discussing. But we'll get to that in just a moment. So we have that handle click up there. We can't save it and render it yet because it'll ultimately fail. But let's come down in here and give ourselves a little bit more room. And then this is where our snack bar is going to be. We're going to come in here and we're going to flush that on out. And we're going to need some space because there's going to be a lot that goes on in here. And dent that in. And so the first thing that is important is that we're going to need an anchor origin. And this, just like input props to degrees, stuff that you're going to inject into the snack bar into this element to give it a bit more direction or detail of what you want it specifically to do. So vertical. Set that to bottom. Horizontal to left. We're going to come in here and we're going to have to make some kind of state to handle this because you don't want stuff just randomly appearing or disappearing upon load on your screen. You're going to want a trigger, which is the button here, to fire it off. And this is also really cool. So we have auto high duration, and this means after a certain amount of time, it goes away. So I believe, what was it, a thousand milliseconds is one second if I remember right. We're going to have an on close function here because you're going to be able to click on it and make it go away. So handle close. We're going to write that later. What should the message be? You just ordered 560 tacos. Good luck. All right, so we have that there. And now this is the action. So this is kind of where it gets a bit interesting and a bit, I guess you would say, um, a bit larger. So we're gonna have a React fragment. I imagine you could just use blank um, or a div, or you know, you could do something like this if you wanted to. I believe those and the React Fragments are the same thing now. We're going to have a button in here. And then let's make this say, click me. I don't know what else to put here. And so we're going to have an on click here. And this is going to be handle close as well. And just to spruce this up a little bit more, we could come in and add an icon button as well. We're going to give this an on click. Actually, we're just going to rip this straight out here. There we go. And so we got this. And then you probably guess that we're going to use that close icon up above. We're going to save and we're going to get some errors because there's stuff going on. There's functionality that we have not written yet. So let's get to this by simply making 
some state up here. Open, set open. Set open to true. Actually, no, never mind. I was actually, I was getting really ahead of myself there. I tell you, it's all this coffee I have. We want it to set to false because we don't want it going off right away. So now we're going to write our handle click here. This is one of those things about doing, doing a tutorial series, making them is that sometimes you just have to do a lot of repetition and you are like you just go through the motion sometimes and now and then you, know, you go through the wrong motion and so this is another interesting tidbit here so actually we're not using a set right there so we're gonna have this const handle close and this is interesting so obviously we're gonna be firing off an event here that's fine but there's this thing called a reason. And reason is interesting in the documentation. So we're going to just type what they have here. I'm going to type return. And after that, so we're going to set open false. Actually, I did that wrong right there. And so let's see, it's given us an error here. Parsing error adjacent JSX elements must be wrapped in a closing tag. Did you want JSX? So it's looking at the icon button right here. And okay, that's why. So we're going to click this, and we see it pops up down here, and we have click me. So we have this, we could click off. We could click this over here. And that's kind of the benefit of You just ordered 560 tacos, which is the message right here. We see it goes away after, what did I say, 2,000, I think, milliseconds here. We have the, you know, the click me, which is this button right here. And then this X right here is the close icon. And what I find kind of fascinating about this is there's this reason. So what does this do? So I'm clicking away from that, right? Let's actually set this to be. Uh, a really long time. So it's hanging out up here and I keep clicking. All right, that's fine. But then I click this and it goes away. Interesting. What if I got rid of this logic right here? And I click off. Huh. So what's interesting is that when you use a snack bar, and you use the on click, not only does it send up an event, but it sends up there's this optional reason as well. And I believe one of the values, if memory serves me right, is click away. And so if it knows you're clicking away from the snack bar and you don't have it just set to return, so it's not going to set the state to anything, then it'll just do nothing. But if you, you know, have like this um, logical catch right here and say, hey, if you're clicking away and doing that then just don't do anything just keep the snack bar up otherwise if you don't have this up here you know they'll click away and it'll um just disappear and i didn't save it yet and you may want that you may want them to click away and it disappears but sometimes you're going to want to force this to appear down here to let them know that something they just did appeared on a website or maybe you want to have a snack bar that appears and you want to have something down here that says, you know, how may I help you? And then maybe there'll be an icon here they could click on and it'll start some kind of chat service. So it's not just for click order, your 560 tacos have been ordered, but it could be something else that you could 
randomly do or inject into your website whenever you want some kind of just pop up happening here, but also give the user the option to be like, yeah, you know, I don't want that anymore. And that is basically a simple snack bar. So in this section, we're going to move a little past, well, I guess we're still going to stay on your basic snack bar. Pretty much everything's the same as before. But up here, we have these pretty cool things from the Material UI core. We have fade, slide, and grow. So not only can we click this, you know, we could click down here, bam, it's gone. But we can make it appear in a bit more stylistic fashion. So we're going to come into here, and all we're going to want to type is transition component, and then we have fade, slide, grow. So let's try fade. We're going to click this, and as you can see, it kind of slowly, or not slowly, but quickly fades in there. We're going to slide it. That's pretty cool. And think about the CSS you'd have to do to just make something simple like that happen. And what was the last one? I think it's grow. So I had to check my notes. And so it's like the fade, except it starts small and gets bigger. And those are just some of the transition components you could do. You could just use the regular one where it just kind of pops up there. But if you want to get the user's eye, on a page, maybe it's a little bit busier than you want it to be, or maybe you just kind of want a focal point to appear briefly that you want you know to capture their attention. You could use one of these transition components, and it would be a pretty good fit, I would say.